morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to Prince Mila Entertainment TV. Subscribe to the channel, follow us on all our social media platforms Prince Mila Entertainment on Facebook, Prince Mila Entertainment uh, on uh, Instagram, and also Prince Mila Entertainment TV, and also on Twitter at uh, PMila ENT. Welcome to another edition of our uh, daily news on breaking news. Today is the 14th of uh, June uh, 2021. So, guys, we keep on following uh, this whole story. A fugitive former Zinara acting chief exec uh, Moses Julius Juma who was lying low after his appeal against conviction and sentence for abuse of office was struck off by the high court he has now been committed to prison since his bail lapsed but he has now been allowed to resubmit his appeal since his appeal was struck off the role at the court last year juma had been lying low prompting the zimbabwe anti-corruption commission zac to launch a manhunt to no avail Juma resurfaced last Friday when High Court Judge Justice Pisirai Kwenda, sitting with Justice Benjamin Chukowero, refused to hear the appeal in his absence. The judge ordered his lawyer to have Juma brought to court and explain why he stayed out of custody when his appeal was dismissed. When he finally came, Juma failed to justify his action and was committed to prison. Kwenda also found that Juma had successfully applied for condonation and leave to appeal out of time from the comfort of his home. They leave and filed a new appeal this year, said Justice Quenda. He was lucky that his application was heard while he was at home, yet his bail had lapsed. Juma was first arrested in 2016 for abuse of office, but was released after former Vice President Peke Zekela Mboko stormed Avondo police station and demanded his immediate release. He was rearrested in 2018 and sentenced to 30 months in prison and was supposed to serve two years in jail after six months were suspended from his sentence. Juma was convicted for hand picking a textile company on a contract worth 500 US dollars without going to tender as required. Following his conviction, Juma approached the High Court appealing against his conviction and was granted plus bail. His appeal came before Justice Quenda and Justice Felistas Chatukuta now a Supreme Court judge and the matter was struck off because his grounds of appeal were invalid. As soon as his appeal was struck off, he was supposed to hand himself in and start serving because his bail had terminated. Instead, he stayed at home while the Zek launched a main hunt for him. Zek recently meant that since the court upheld his conviction, Juma had vanished and was now on the wanted list. This once appeared in October last year when former Zimbabwe Power Company ZP Chairman Stanley Kajanji attempted to outfox the justice system appeal, appeal against a three-year jail term for corruption while in, in the comfort of his home. The move backfired when Justice Quenda noticed it and ordered his incarceration. Kajanji had not handed himself in when his appeal against both conviction and sentence last month was struck off by the High Court because it was defective and bad at law. He instead filed a fresh application for bail pending appeal from his home. Kajanji's submission that he was in custody at the time of filing the bail application was misled by Justice Quenda became suspicious and inquired from his lawyer if his lawyers told the court that their client was in custody but dissatisfied with the response just went to court in person the judge also asked the prosecutor the matter to check with the prisons if indeed Kajanje had handed himself in after his appeal was struck off prison authorities said Kajanje was out of custody he was then brought before the judge who wanted an explanation why he was applying for bail when he was not in prison but Kajanje argued the same court had previously released him on bail pending is after finding that he was a suitable candidate for bail this he argued had not changed save for the technicalities alluded to by the court but justice quenda did not agree with his assertion which he found to be untenable the judge then told kajane that he could not get bail while he was out of custody and committed kajane to prison saying it was up to him to submit a fresh application for bail pending appeal if he wanted to pursue his appeal. Kajanje, who was serving his sentence at Chikurubi Maximum Security Prison, was granted 1,000 bail by the Harare High Court in 2019. He was convicted of taking a 10,000 US dollar bribe from 
Intratrack Zimbabwe, a company which had been awarded a 172 million US dollar tender to build a 100 megawatt solar power plant in Gwanda. So it seems as if um, these guys who have been convicted of corruption, they are using a, you know, the loopholes in the law to stay out of jail. And so my um, prisoner authorities, and again, uh, they are sleeping. There's no way Munpanos or Buddha went up a quake, Ian's bill, Rara Council. I mean, this is just not cool. Even most of the prosecutors who are not doing their work, maybe one of our poor married Zema drinks and stuff. He was wanted by Zek, and he was actually one of the most wanted people in Zimbabwe. But it seems like the main Anga to Garage Kumpa and the Anga Garage Epa Din Pag. I think we say that we are going to be able to do it. Some of these things are not going to be able to do it behind the scenes because there's no way that someone else who is on the wanted list is at home enjoying uh, you know, breakfast, good meal when he's supposed to be in Chukurubi serving his time. There's some other people who are privileged because this kind of a treatment won't happen to just an ordinary person. So guys, this is a daily news on breaking news on Prince Miller Entertainment TV. Now go to Nguya Nanyae because I've been following this uh, whole situation. Yeah, this former Zenara boss, uh, Moses Juma. And he's the same guy. I got no body squad who have on the police station. Na VP, Piki Zelamboko. Nyaya Chaga to end up a headline. I know most of you guys, you do remember that incident. So, write it down in the comment section. This is our daily news on breaking news on Prince Miller Entertainment TV. Remember, guys, to turn on the notification bell not to miss any of our new uploads. We upload each and every day here. And uh, follow us on all our social media platforms Instagram, Facebook, and also our Facebook group, which is our Prince Miller Entertainment TV. Daily news on, on Prince Miller Entertainment TV. Bless up.